Uh, today my topic is on uh, managing SharePoint uh, webhook subscriptions using SPFX. Uh, this is a simple uh, web part which displays the list of uh, webhooks and action to renew the webhook expiry dates of uh, respective webhook subscriptions. So before I jump into the demo, I would like to introduce myself uh, quite briefly. Uh, my name is Nish Kalank. Uh, people call me as Nish. I'm working as a senior RAM365 technical specialist at TA2 Every Create based in Stockholm. Uh, I am an active uh, uh, PNP community contributor, and these are the badges for my contributions uh, which I've got so far, and uh, many more are yet to come. Uh, these are the few links where you can reach me out, but I am uh, most uh, mostly active on uh, Discord server. So uh, today's uh, agenda, I will be focusing on uh, SharePoint webhooks, uh, the use case which I have followed, the web part, and a brief demo. About SharePoint uh, webhooks. Web, uh, SharePoint webhooks uh, enables us to build applications that subscribe to, the, uh, to receive notifications on specific events that occur in SharePoint. So these specific events uh, may be a document uh, is added, deleted, checked out, checked in, etc. SharePoint webhooks are uh, easier to develop and uh, consume than that of uh, re remote event receivers, as remote event receivers uses the idea uh, of uh, using SOAP endpoint, usually implemented using WCF, wherein uh, webhooks uh, uses regular HTTP services like uh, web APIs. Uh, like uh, list uh, webhooks covers the uh, vast range of list events corresponding to the list item changes. The list event types are uh, listed out on the right hand side of the screen. Uh, these includes uh, item added, updated, deleted, checked out, checked in, unchecked out, uh, file moved, version deleted, etc. etc. Uh, SharePoint webhooks uh, also provide a simple notification pipeline so your application can be aware of what changes it is doing or it is getting. So uh, the uh, the use case which I have used is uh, from the Microsoft uh, documentation itself. I have not completely implemented this, but I have implemented in a similar way as shown in the figure. I have created a SharePoint webhook as an uh, Azure function which uses the HTTP trigger. The function URL uh, is then added as a webhook subscription to the intended lists or libraries. This function will be triggered whenever there is a change in uh, uh, lists or libraries. Once it is triggered, the function will receive the notification from the SharePoint and processes the notification. This notification is then added to the storage queue for further processing using a queue trigger function you may either use uh, you may either add this notification to queues or directly process this uh, notification in the same function but it is uh, recommended to uh, to do to add it to the queue so you maintain the records of uh, the notification uh, the most important part here is uh, the get changes uh, csom api which is used during the processing the uh, notification. This API is to determine what actually uh, has changed on that particular item. Uh, this is a basic scenario as we all know and uh, hence can be implemented in many different ways. I myself have used it, uh, used this in my previous uh, uh, projects where we had to manage all these uh, subscriptions at hub level individually or using an automated script. So when I said the word managing here, it is because the webhook subscriptions are set to expire after 180 days by default. And uh, we have many ways to renew the webhook subscriptions. The, the most effective way I would say is, uh, is to use PowerShell. Uh, but, but then uh, this is where my idea has come to implement uh, this or like implement it using a web part, which uses uh, REST API making some simple HTTP calls. So the web part, the, uh, this web part sample is developed to renew the subscription date of the list webhooks, a simple one. The idea of this web part was that uh, that I have set up, set this uh, set this uh, web part at uh, hub level 
assuming that I can fetch all the sites which are associated to the hub and uh, it lists, uh, I mean, uh, sites and as well as its lists which are available. On uh, list or library selections, the available webhook subscriptions are displayed accordingly. If uh, the webhook is expired, the uh, web part gives us the possibility to renew the subscription via web part. So now uh, let me quickly uh, show you the uh, web part. <clears throat> All right, um, this is the uh, uh, web part. Uh, which I have configured. Uh, there are no web part properties which are being used, so uh, I'll skip the part of uh, editing and showing the web part properties here. Editing the web part. So uh, uh, on on here, I mean, I have a drop down uh, which uh, fetches all the lists. Uh, sorry, all the sites which are associated to the hub site. So on selection or like on selection of uh, a particular site. Uh, there will be another drop down which will be po uh, popped out, uh, which shows like, you know, select list from the so and so selected site. So if I choose uh, any of the lists and libraries from the uh, drop down, it will show me the subscriptions which are, uh, you know, available on that particular list. So likewise, I mean, uh, I can just, uh, you know, uh, click around and then see uh, if there are any expired webhooks. So uh, let's see if if uh, <clears throat> uh, this this particular uh, on this particular li library there's a webhook which has been expired on 10th of October. So uh, here on clicking on the link, the subscription will be renewed and the expiry date is set to 180 days from today. So let me show you that. So I'll be clicking it. So yeah, the webhook has been now uh, you know. Uh, has a new expiry date. Uh, so th th this is a, a brief, uh, you know, uh, uh, a demo of the uh, uh, web part. So let me come back to the presentation. Uh, I'll show you a quick, I mean, uh, a code samples. So um, here, uh, get subscriptions methods use uh, uses get and fetches all the available uh, subscriptions uh, for that particular list and uh, renewing uh, the subscriptions. I used a patch method and sent a payload which has expi expiration uh, date time and the notification URL. So uh, here uh, uh, this is the get method uh, uh, from my uh, rest services uh, and the patch method. Uh, both get and uh, patch methods are simple HTTP calls as shown. Uh, here in the patch method, if the subscription is uh, found and successfully updated, uh, the response status is 204 and no content is, uh, is being returned. So this uh, sample is available in PNP samples gallery. And uh, this is an app sample or example on how we can work on SharePoint uh, webhook subscriptions, which can be, of course, be uh, improved in any way that is appropriate for uh, our own needs. So with this, I uh, conclude my second demo in the community. I thank everybody. Uh, I, uh, I mean, uh, I thank uh, the community for recognizing and uh, giving me this opportunity today. I thank Vesa, David, Hugo for the from the community team. You are awesome. Uh, thanks, uh, thanks to Giacomo, jo uh, Joel, uh, Rodriguez, Adam Wojcik uh, for your constant support. I personally thank uh, Pascal Sok from TI to Every for always backing me. Thank you, everybody. You guys rock. Thank you. Thank you.